Hi guys, okay, so this will be a very quick video on how to use uh, Microsoft Word to create a poster for your practical assignment. So click on the start, type in Word, and open up the Word program. All right, then once your program is open, this is now your blank page. It is defaulted to appear in portrait landscape. So what you would first do is go to your page layout and then change the orientation to landscape. Okay. Now to make your page, you see it's quite big, so I have to scroll up and down. So to see the whole page, here at the bottom, you will have a plus and a minus, which is your zoom bar. So you can just decrease that a bit. And say 70% or 80, if you can get 80, should show you your full page, but 70. Remember, this won't print out as small as this. It's only showing you the scaled version. Okay, so let's get into it. So you can use this full page as your poster, okay? And if we are doing an assignment that requires you to put different um, information into different boxes, you will go to insert, insert, and find shapes. When you click on shapes, now you can either choose to do shapes or better still, you can go to smart art. Okay, so I'm going to show you both quickly. So if you go to shapes, here are simple shapes at the top, square, um, oval, rectangle. So say I click on that one. The mouse will become this black cross, which you then click and drag open. There's shape number one. And directly in the shape, you are able to type your information. Okay. Now, if you don't like blue or if blue is too dark, if I click off, do you see view is my last tab? When I click on the shape, I will get format. Now format, here you can change the colors. But the colors doesn't matter if the printer is black and white. So you want the lightest color possible. So if I click down, let's take one that has a black border with nothing inside. So here you are able to type and it's just a neat black border around. Okay. So now you have that. Once you type your information, you are able to watch the mouse. If I point on it, it becomes this black cross with four arrows. Click, and you can move it anywhere on your page. These dots that you see around, they enable you to make the shape bigger, make the shape smaller. So here you can adjust the size of the shape by dragging these little things in or out. And once you have one, all you do is go to your home tab, Copy, click, paste. There's the second one. Copy, click, paste. There's the third one. So now you are duplicating and it's the perfect size. Okay. So that is using insert and shapes. I'm going to delete this quickly. So I click on it, press delete on the keyboard, click, delete on the keyboard, click delete on the keyboard. The second option would be to use Smart Art. Now if I click on Smart Art, you will get different options or categories. List, process, cycle, hierarchy, and these over here. So generally for a poster, if it's not a process or a cycle, you could take a list option, right? And here you can see all the different options that you get under list. So, um, which one can we go for now? Let's just choose anyone. You can go through each one of them and see which one works best for you. So here's a nice one, a cycle one. So I'm going to take this one over here. Okay. And this one is your called your non-directional cycle. So there is no order of the flow. It's just cycle, uh, circular, right? But with no order. Whereas if you click this one, you can see that the order is running like this. No start, no end. So that one will do, this one will do, I'll take this one. Okay, once you press OK, all your shapes are now automatically inserted for you. But if you need more shapes, here's only five, right? 
So what you do is you click on the one and remember you're on your home tab, copy, paste. There's another one, copy, paste. There's another one. Now instead of moving one block at a time, okay, you will click on the outside border and instead of dots, you will see that there are these braille dots on here. So there's three over there, three, three. So what you do with that is go to it and once you see your mouse becomes a white arrow, not the black one, the white arrow with two directional arrows. Click and drag open. And you can drag this as big as your page is and move it around. Okay, now you can see I'm not able to move this. Right? So here you would go to format, wrap text, and choose in front of text. Now you are able to move your shape around and drag it open and close. And now you are able to type your information. Type, type, and you get the picture typing all the way. Okay? So now that that is in, when you click off anywhere, your borders will disappear and your text will print out in this manner. If you need to edit, click on the shape again and click in whatever specific shape you want. Now again, the color is blue. So if you don't like that color, you can select any different color over here. But once you click on one block, it's only going to change it for the one. So I will suggest to click on the outside border. Watch the mouse, outside border. And when you go to shape full, no full, shape outline, no outline. Right. When you click on the shape, format or design. Format, nothing will be active because you can't individually change these blocks or shapes. So go to design and then you can choose a different color, maybe a black primary color or a blue primary color or one of these other solid colors. Try to avoid the one that is colored inside because your printer might print it out very dark and your words will not appear. So choose one of these light colors, these first options here. Okay, so just go with black. Once you have typed in all your information and you perhaps want to insert a picture, make sure that you have downloaded all your pictures already. So on the internet, you will go and download all your images. So click on the image. And if this is the image you want, right click, save. Choose desktop or documents, wherever you want to save it. Give it a name and save. So I'm going to save this one to show you an example. So I found my picture on the preview, right click, save. I'm going to throw it on the desktop and call this one uh, picture sample and save. So now you would have saved many other pictures. So when I go to insert picture, where did I save it? On the desktop and I called it picture sample. So when I click on it, insert. So now my picture is in the background. So you can change that when you click on the picture. How you know your picture is active when you see these little dots on your picture. Go to format at the top, wrap text and in front of text. And the same process of making it smaller and bigger is with these dots over here. Okay, so you can move your picture around. So if this picture was for uh, text number one, you can put that picture over there. And we can insert now another picture. Let's take this one. It's just a sample. Click on the picture. Okay, just move that out of the way. Format. Wrap text in front. Right. So you can literally move these things around as much as you want. So don't be afraid to make it big, make it small and move them around and change the size. Right? So this is just a very quick tutorial on how to insert smart art, how to type inside the smart art, and how to insert pictures according to the 
words that you are putting on your poster okay so have fun with the video and if you get stuck you can just contact me directly for some assistance and to create your microsoft word poster